What's happened to your hands, Lauren? You tied them up to little knots. Little knot hands. <laughs> you bully me, is uh, what happens. How are you going to make breakfast with those hands? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta keep your wits about you, otherwise these things happen. Stop tying knots and things. <laughs> I can't practice my knots. I'm not the rigging. <laughs> Welcome to Sailing Indiana. We are Lauren and Chris, and we've recently bought our first boat. This is a story of how we hope to swap a life in the city for a life at sea. Please like and subscribe, and welcome aboard. Okay, I've just woken up and realised that it is um, flare disposal amnesty day at the Chandlery. So I, I knew we had a box of, um, or like a tub of old flares, and I hadn't really checked what the date was when we got the boat. And it's just reminded me that actually, yeah, that's something we probably should do. Check the flares if they're in date. And if not, then we'll get them up to the Chandlery pretty quick. So um, got out of bed and had a quick look <laughs> and um, yeah I was quite surprised at what I found so I don't I don't really want to bring these in inside the boat because I'll just get I'll just get one out um, so we've got tw uh, eight flares and handheld orange smoke signal um, there and just a um, red handheld flare there um, and if you can see the date on that one it, sh it expired in 2003 um, so which is not great so sorry that was blurry <laughs> but other than that we've also got ones that expired in 1990 so i really don't want to be handling these for too long um <laughs> just ridiculous and this one you can see the cap has already just corroded all the way through and I'm just, I'm thinking that could go off any minute. So, without further delay, I'm gonna go up to the Chandlery and hand these in to some bomb disposal experts, probably. But in lighter news, before we blow up the whole boat with pyrotechnic party, um, we had in a couple of episodes ago, we found a leak of weird blue substance in the um, engine bilge. We, we found out that it was coming from the air dispatcher, the diesel heater um, at the stern. So we bought the new fittings and I still need to install them. But you need to top up the system again using a coolant or antifreeze. But it, you can't really mix and match antifreeze, so I'm told and so I've researched. So we were like, well, we don't know what that type was. We were thinking we were gonna to have to dr drain the whole system and just start, start again. But I found, whilst digging out the flares, antifreeze, which is, um, which is blue and can only be the one that was used to, um, to top up that um, Eberspatcher system. So um, yeah, pretty happy about that. I'm just gonna buy some more of this. It's funny what you can find on boats seven months after you bought it. <laughs> okay, just got back from the Chandlery and they took eight flares for £10 with all the money going to the RNLI, so that's pretty decent. And I've kept hold of this and I will be looking for some more flares, but they quoted something like 100 quid for a pack of, of flares up at the Chandlery, but not, uh, yeah, we don't want to shop around and take business away from the Chandlery, which is right there, but maybe 100 quid on top of everything else at the moment is probably, probably going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. 
So instead, so instead, we're going to repurpose the flare container. Temporarily. As a Guinness container. <sighs> Don't tell Lauren. Whilst Chris finished hiding his Guinness, we had some good news. Pav from Rigget UK surprised us with some brand new guardrails. We told him we were thinking of doing this ourselves and he wasn't going to allow that to happen. So he came to our rescue. Thank you so much, Pav. Perfect. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Much better. Here you go. We are going to the Chandri to go and get our anchor chain. And Chris wouldn't let me ride in the trolley. Because he's mean. <laughs> oh, it's the excitement we have now. These are our Saturday shopping days. <laughs> Mine now, or you need that bag? No, you can have the bag if you want it. If you don't want the bag, equally whichever way around. Yeah, we can go. We can't, we can't sail yet, <laughs> but now we can motor out, anchor off, and go for a swim. That's it. And it will feel like we're out sailing. Yeah. Fake sailing. Fake sailing. We can get we'll some. Suit. We might be able to get the main up soon. We haven't got, we haven't got the sails, babe. Oh. Get a bed sheet out. <laughs> Let it flap in the wind. Oh, That'll work. Yeah, That'll we'll work, see. right? We're still some time off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fifty, fifty meters of chain. <laughs> they won't be uh, in a minute. <laughs> twenty, uh, twenty meters of rope. Well, twenty-three meters. He said. Actually, we got three meters for free. How's that for a bargain? <laughs> Okay, so we've borrowed some spray paint from our lovely neighbour and we have laid the chain out. Like this? And the bit we're going to spray is in the box. <laughs> so now, yeah, every five metres we're going to have one colour for five metres and the next colour for ten. So then we know. Exactly. Yeah. Easy as that. So yeah. in there. Okay. Oh, pretty. So the end of that point is the five meter. Yeah. What's that? It's like the end of that is five meters. Blue. 
little bit more. Getting the hang of this. We did it. <laughs> we got the blue and we got pink and green. Pink and green. Pink and green. Success. It was Father's Day and Chris's mum and dad came down to see the boat for the first time. Of course, we took this opportunity to put Roy to work, helping us drill a hole through our new anchor that our locking pin needed to go through. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't want to hammer it. Is it like angled a little bit? Like, just, oh, yeah, take it out and just not. It round with the yeah. Might open it up a bit. Yeah, because we'll be, we'll be trying to do it from this angle when we're out sailing. Oh, yeah. So we won't be here. Tidy it up a bit. Yeah. What you really need is a bigger drill again and it'll put a little chamfer around the edge. Around the edge. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want me to lift this locker up? Uh, no, I just need that shackle there. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why there's the two differences are on the why there's two, two different sizes. Yeah. yeah. Somebody will have sized these for two different sorts of anchor. Right. Um, you know. How many guys does it take to put an anchor on? <laughs> so this is the anchor. Gracefully travels through the uh, through the hole and out the other side. Thanks, Dad, for your help. Um, and we've also added a bit of um, sort of anti-rust paint in there just to stop it rusting from the through the galvanised uh, metal there. But we'll show you that um, process in another episode.